Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and um, we've got an unboxing today so um, I've had to go down to Manjits and get the get the delivery so we sat there so um, again it was down at Manjits so um, at least it gets delivered a counterfort, at least it gets delivered but yeah we're going to go around do some little jobs today we've got to build a chameleon kit we've got to go around and look some more around the animals see if everybody's okay make sure Meg doesn't release any more of my animals we keep some in the tanks and then uh, yeah we'll have a good day so I'll uh, see you in a bit well I've just got here this morning and um, I ordered a delivery from the supplier that takes down the corner shop all the time so I think we should jump down the corner shop and see if we can see if our animals are there so what do you reckon my animals down the shop do you reckon? I reckon they are oh, so we'll have a little look see if we can see them at the shop Thank you, Manjit. I don't know. We got him. So we had the delivery come today, and I took the delivery note off, and um, I'm hiding all the rest of the information, but that's not me. Rainforest Exotics, it's got one word right, but the rest isn't me. So, I hope my animals are in here, and not his, because he's ordered some poison dart frogs some more poison dart frogs some cane toads and some southern toads so wonder what we've got in the box we could have them, we could have his stuff, we could have my stuff uh, I reckon there's his stuff in here so I think I'm going to be ringing someone at Rainforest Exotics in a minute ok so we'll open it and see if we've got my stuff or his stuff ok so what do you reckon? My animals, his animals? I don't know. His animals. So, his animals, you reckon? It's my guess. Animals? It is a bigger box. Yeah. I've only ordered one frog and two geckos. But I did order some mantises as well. Mm. So, got Excalibur out. My mighty sword. Come on. What's we reckon? What's we reckon? Ooh. No, they're my animals. My Yay. animals. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> what have we got? Whoa. That's cool. <laughs> we got some chubby frogs. Look at him. We got some flying geckos. Oh. So they've got a little skin flap they can use to fly around. There's the male. Beautiful. So I've got a breeding pair now, as well as the one I've got at home. Mm. So I've got a trio now, and then you've got some stick insects. Mm -hmm. Oh, wicked. Sunny stick insects. I've never seen one with a stripe down its back like that. The lights on it, there we go. That's cool. But different. Mm. So uh, we've got these are going to come home with me, but I may consider putting them in that tank over there. I haven't decided yet, but he has come in a lot bigger than what I was expecting. I was thinking that. <laughs> He's big as I was expecting. And they send me a frog, they send me something that's like the, side, the tip of my finger, that's what I get usually, a tiny baby. That's like a proper frog. That's like a reasonable toy's toad. He's huge. Look at his face. Hello. It's blurry. So we can get a better look at him, shall we? Open him up. Look at him. Hello. How cute is he? He's gorgeous. Ooh, chubby frog. <laughs> so I've made the decision. Once we've got the um, chubby frog and that set up in his own little tank, the uh, I might jump home and take my um, flying geckos home. I might just set them up in a little, little thing just to keep them going while they're here today and then I can take them home. Uh, but we're doing this today. We're going to get some stuff in it, get it going, and then uh, we can do a fish order and get some fish. I'm thinking of actually, just, instead of doing coral, I think you're doing some fish. Getting a load of Nemo's in there, a load of clownfish, and then uh, having some anemones and stuff like that, and loads of nice little rocks and rocky outcroppings and stuff. Because I think it'd be the water's not going to be good enough for doing the coral, but I think we'll be able to do, we should be able to do mechanical filtering for the, for the fish 
but I just don't think we'll struggle getting all the parameters right for the coral without having a sump or the extra equipment. So we'll uh, we'll get the put the sand in. We we'll get this bubbler out. If you don't want the bubbler, we we'll do the get all the filter media. We we'll do all the filter media, and then we we'll fill it up. Do the rocky outcroppings to make it look really cool. And then we're we'll going to order. I need to order some lights as well. Let's have a butcher's. So I think the lights come out. They wiggle. Makes me think they come out. So. Oh, 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 we got it, we got it, we got it. So the lights come out. The lights come out. So we've got loads of room to work. That's nice. Look at all that. Look at all that we got to do work with. So this is our little filter compartment. So we have all our gubbins in here. So we've got to sort all that out. So I'll show you what I'm going to put in there, and then I'll put it in there. <laughs> Before I take him home, I thought we'd get a good look at him. All his tail is. So they live on trees, that's why they've got the bark camouflage. They are lovely little geckos, they are. And on their side, they've got a little flap of skin, like a flying squirrel, and it flicks out and helps them glide around. I don't think we'll be able to see it. Oh no, I can't see the edge of it, but they are stunning little geckos. Oh, you can see the edge of it there. So Meg's built us a little enclosure for the chubby frog, who is rather chubby and rather froggy. Um, <laughs> he looks really cool, actually, so we get a good look at him. Um, she's built him a nice little enclosure. So we're going to have a look at this now while I'm having a break from doing the, uh, the fish tank. And then um, we'll put him in. Ooh. Uh, we've got a nice little water bowl, he's got a nice little branch, he's got some cocoa fibre, loads of spring towels, and he's got some moss. And all that moss in there is coming in here as well. So, do you want to do the honours, Meg? Let's have a look at your frog. Let's have a look at your frog. Where is he? There he is, look at him with his little face. Look him with his little face. He's so cute. So we'll grab some of his moss mm -hmm. and we're just going to sprinkle it around. She likes the moss, we do. We love a bit of moss. Loves a bit of moss. And the moss can dangle in the water so it gets a bit more, soaks the water up. It can do that, it's no problem. So, what we're going to have to do is put some gloves on and then pick him up and plonk him in. We haven't got any gloves, so we're going to have to make him leave on his own accord. Come on, buddy. We need the convincing stick again. Where's the convincing stick? Use the convincing spoon. That's what we do, convincing spoon. Come on, mate. Come on. Out we go. Come on. Castle frog. Come on, froggy. Nearly. Come on. It's not that hard. It's really not that hard. Come on. Come on, we can do it. There's a good lad, there's a good lad. You get the rest of him out? Whee! Perfect. So there he is. Look at his little face. Look how cute he is. He's such a little cutie. There he is. Hello, Mr. Chubby Frog. It's a very unfortunate name you've got, sir. There's the phone, so off we go again to answer the phone. Hello, Mr. Frog. How are you today? He's you, Flug. He's digging. He's digging down. He's got a, a spring tail on his face. Oh, digging down. Bye. We're going down. We're going to be antisocial today. Going to bed. Who? Going to be antisocial, Frog. He's going to dig down and leave us, leave us be. Well, he seems happy anyway, so uh, we'll leave him be. Meg's little enclosure is very nice for him. So off he goes again, down, 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 down. <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll see what else we can do. So I've got all the equipment laid out that we're going to need. Um, 
The bloke at the shop would give me a very funny look when I was walking out buying these, but he shouldn't have because if I want to wear stockings, I should be able to wear stockings. So, <laughs> but we need them to put these in here. So this is the phosphate remover. We put it in the middle of our sponges and all this stuff and it just helps us do all the bits and bobs. We do with some carbon as well. So if I've got some carbon, we're going to put some carbon in. Um, so we've got my heater for a 100 litre tank. 100 litre tank, that's what we like. So this is part of the filter gubbins. This is our biological uh, filter me media. This is our big sponge. This is something I needed earlier. And then we've got our light. So um, we're going to need... Uh, we're going to want a heater in this one, I think. Then we're going to want the filter. Then we're going to want the bio balls. And then we've got the pump. The pump's already in there set up. So uh, all we got to do is start putting... We can do the heater first. Cause that's the first segment. So we've got to open the heater and put that in. And we're aiming for around 26 Celsius or degrees, 26. And we want it there. So about 85 to 24, something like that. Would be perfect. Perfect, in the middle of 24 and 26. Stopped. So the w plug wire goes all the way down there. There's a little hole where we can grab it down here. You see all those wires coming down. That's the hole where the cable comes through and we can plug it all up through there. Got to open up my tights. Oh, I don't think they're, they're my colour, Meg, do you reckon? Do you think they're my colour made? Do you reckon they suit me? You reckon, yeah? I reckon they'd suit me. So, uh, we only want one. I oh, know. It is one. So, how does tights work? I oh, know, there's two legs. There's two legs. So, we want to cut a leg off. So, we only want about that much. That's all we want. There's a little pocket to put this in. So, we'll get some skizzers. These are good scissors, aren't they? Christ's sake. Okay, so that's what we're left with. We need to open it, we want about a teaspoon's worth of this in this, then tied in a knot. So I'll do that now. Go, okay, black stuff in the tights, just got tied in a knot. Filter back in. That's a long filter. And we want to put the. I think we put this in on top of the bio balls. Oh, that ain't gonna work. I need a smaller bag. I need a smaller bag. So we should be able to get this in, I says. Oh, I'm still struggling, I'm still struggling. Oh, come on. We can do it, we can do it. I think it's nearly going now. It's nearly going, it's nearly going. It's a couple more jiggles, a couple more jiggles. Okay, that's full. That's in there, we can drop our little bit of media in top. And I'll put a bit of sponge on top to seal that in, I will. And then, I think we're ready. And I'll go put the sponge back in, sponge back in. Come on, sponge, all the way. There we go. So now we've got to put the, the sand in. Oh, we'll have the old bag. We'll have the old bag. Woo. There we go, we've got the sand in place. We've got a good good inch or so, most of it, most of the way around. Um, so we're going to start slowly filling up with some water now. <coughs> and then uh, get it up to temperature, turn the heater on, turn the pump on. Then we can maybe put some live rock in there. 
So we turn the heat on, turn the pump on, and we can get it flowing. See what that flow is like as well. Because this is really slow, we're going to have to put a blower in there as well to blow the water around. Okay, so my plan is, I've got a bucket in there, because if I just pour this in there, it's going to make a right mess. So my idea is to pour it into the bucket, the bucket fills up, and then it overflows nice out the bucket. It might not work, it might work, we'll give it a go. So, oh, it's going to be heavy now. See if the plan works. Working. It appears to be. Definitely less of a mess than if you just poured it in. There you go. So I need three more of them. These are, these are 25 litres. So this is a 100 litre tank. So I need three more. <coughs> and then once this is filled up level, I can then tip that bucket over and get it in. So uh, it's going to be a little bit cloudy at first because you've got the dust and stuff, but that soon settle. And um, so I'll put the rest of them in and then uh, we'll have a look when it's full. I'll get the filters and pumps on. Full, but she's cloudy, I'm afraid. So, I'm going to wait for it to settle a little bit. My me, uh, me bucket idea worked, but it was very dusty stuff, so. Uh, it does well, go around and filter it all. I've got the filter going now. Got the little little pumpies going, but definitely not enough flow for the for a salt water tank. We're going to have to get some uh, wave makers and uh, put them in so we get a lot more flow. Um, I'll probably wait now till tomorrow, let it clear, and then we can do the live rock. Um, and then once we put the live rock in, then we can sort out the lights. And then once it's all settled and we've left it for a bit to acclim well, not acclimate, but build up some good bacteria and stuff like that, then we can start putting our initial fish in. And then we can start putting some little clean up crew and stuff like that. So it's a, it's a, it's a slow process, but we don't, we don't rush a marine tank. So you take, you take your time. So we can't just rush and chuck stuff in in one day. It's, it's detrimental to the fish. So we've got most of it done today. We've got it filled up with water. I'll put the thingy on, turn the light on, so you can have a look what it's like with the light on. And then um, I think that's all we can do today. Look at that. Looks like comes some weird glowy box, in it? Ooh. <laughs> yeah, so we've uh, got the lights on. They're not bad lights, to be fair. A little bit pink, but it's all right. It's not the end of the world. Um, it's Meg getting in the way as always. <laughs> so yeah, I think it looks all right. Slowly starting to clear up towards the bottom. But uh, I've got the filters going, the lights on, and the heaters on now. So uh, should get it up to temperature. Should be filled. Should be nice and clear by the time we get in tomorrow. Uh, fingers crossed. And then uh, we can start doing the rocks then, because I like seeing the rocks make it look cool. And then uh, yeah, we should be good. We should be raring to go with our glowy box. Oh, 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 oh. It's a glowy box. <laughs> what we're going to do is I'm going to let you pick what I'm going to have in the tank. So it's going to there's two options basically. So I'm going to have clowns in there. So we can have normal clowns or we can have fancy clowns. But I will have more normal clowns than fancy clowns because they're more expensive. So if you'd like to see a tank full of loads of little clown fish then vote for that but if you want to see slightly less number of fancy ones for example like that one he's a fancy one that's a, that's a snowflake so I'd have to have a smaller amount of them because they have a lot more money so for example he's 59.99 and then we've got the normal clown fish which I can have a lot more of but they'd be not as fancy. Uh, they're £30. 
So I'd save quite a bit. I could get, for every two of them, I could have one of them. So say if I was going to have six in there, I could have three of the fancy ones, for example. So you have a little vote. See what everybody wants. If you want fancy clowns or normal clowns. And I'm going to have some loads of anemones in there as well. So we're going to have an anemone and clown tank. So let me know what you think. If you want fancy clowns or normal clowns. And we can do that then. So I think that'd be quite a cool loads of clown fish in there. Uh, I think I'd do maybe... I'd have to check how much water I've got and what size the clownfish would be. Uh, I've got, got a reasonable amount of water, we've got about 100 litres. So it's a reasonable amount. Um, so baby ones, we get away with quite a few babies. Um, but adults, we'd have to be careful with adults. We maybe only get like a pair or two in there at the max. Um, yeah, we're, we're, let me know what you think. And we're, we're, I'll do whatever you, whatever, what do you think, whatever one wants to do. Oh well, the GoPro is as dead as a dodo, so I'm afraid we'll have to say goodbye like this today. So uh, we had the unboxing today, that was nice. We got uh, some nice little animals, some more flying geckos for my breeding group. Um, we did the um, salt water tank, finally got some salt water in it. Um, not finished yet, still got a slow go yet, but we got water in it, that's a start. But yeah, we've had a good day today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, comment and share for me. If you want to watch another video, it should be a box there. If you want to watch a playlist, it should be up there. And then if you want to subscribe to the channel, it should be up there. And I'll uh, see you in the future. Bye.